Christine the Haunt Girl and today I am talking about Mystery Mansion's Night Terror game that we played through Zoom this weekend. <laughs> to my channel please take a moment to hit that subscribe button turn on notifications so you don't miss any escape room reviews haunted attraction walk there's anything else of the sort we do here on the channel and if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for supporting the channel it really helps me out first of all i want to give a big shout out to escape the rumors thank you so much for inviting me to play this game with you the two bears life and my husband jeremiah the six of us played this virtual escape room it's a real life escape room but we were playing it virtually through zoom so the way it works is we have a game master who is basically like an avatar doing things for us. Um, he was our hands and he controlled where we looked based on, you know, him controlling the camera. So he was also essentially our eyes and our feet and everything else there because he was the person who was there doing things for us in this real life IRL escape room that we were not able to uh, go to because pandemic. Um, <laughs> I really thought this game had a cool story. Uh, I love sort of paranormal and like, um, like anything in like that world. I just, I really enjoyed it. And, um, and I like this. It felt kind of in that world to me. Um, we were the subconscious of Alex, the person who was our game master. And he was doing everything for us, but we were telling him, we were the six voices in his head, uh, subconscious telling him what to do. And I really liked that setup as well, because sometimes you're just like, this is the game master who's gonna be doing things for you. And then sometimes there's a really cool story behind it. And this was a way of incorporating a really cool story into the game as well. I also enjoyed the things that Alex kind of had happened to him because of the way this is set up, where if we were in the room, they may not have been able to happen to us quite the same way. So I really thought that was really cool. Um, you'll know what I mean when you play the game. I don't want to give any spoilers or, but, but there was just some really cool stuff that I was just like, oh yeah, ooh, that's cool. Like, cause you know, he's controlling the environment as well as playing the game with us, like as, as our hands. So one of the other things I really enjoyed about this game is there were some moments of things that I thought were really cool ideas, but I didn't want to have to physically do them myself. So it was great to have someone else do them for me and I still got to see everything. Yay. I was like, yeah, you do it. Um, so I like that. I think that's always fun when I get to see someone else that created a game or works for the game do the thing that I'm like, oh, I don't really want to do that thing physically. And you're there, so I don't have to do it. So that was fun. Um, the puzzles were good. They're kind of old school mentality, like puzzles, but I liked them. They were puzzles that I, I really, I thought were not too difficult, but were challenging enough. Um, they fit within the story well enough, which is good. There's a lot of like kind of finding and doing things and putting things places. Um, there was definitely a moment where I got to the point where I was like, can you just pick up two things at once and take them with you? Like, Let's not just move one thing at a time. Let's do two. Let's move it. Let's move it along. <laughs> um, this game is a bit long. Um, I think part of that is if you were there physically doing it with a group of six, for example, it wouldn't take so long, but because you're six voices in some one person's head and they have to physically do everything, it just takes longer to get through it. So they've extended the time on the game. Um, uh, they give you a Google Drive with files, so that's really useful. I found myself going back and, and looking at the pictures um, many times to just be like, oh, okay, great. Uh, it's a little bit on the honor system on this, so you're going to get them ahead of time. Don't open them. Don't ruin the game for yourself. Just play when they tell you to do stuff. Play it then. Um, don't try to jump ahead or anything like that. Don't cheat. Um, but yeah, so it comes in a Google file. They'll have different names and, and you'll figure it out. He'll explain it to you how you'll use those as you go along. But they are very useful. I, I quite like having that ability to kind of look around the room through photos without having to be like, wait, 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 look back to your left one more time. What was that? Because that kind of takes away some of the time of like doing the puzzles if you're just looking around. So it gives you that ability. Um, yeah, I like the story. We were all a little bit like we all had different opinions of what actually happened. I'll tell you that it was interesting because I thought I was very clear on what was going on. And then the like the ending, I was like, yeah, I got this. And then I was talking to my teammates and they were we were all on a little bit of different page. So I don't know. 
I, I don't dislike that, but I just thought it was kind of funny that we were all kind of like, this is what happened. Now this is what happened. Now this is what happened. I'm like, okay, we don't really know, do we? Um, hmm. So it was kind of fun. Um, I, I like the sort of, like I said, kind of paranormal supernaturally worlds. Um, I like, I like dream worlds. I like, um, yeah, like all that sort of thing. And so this kind of fits into that world quite well. Uh, it is a little spooky. They do give you, uh, a file for YouTube that you can play in the background. And they also recommend putting it and making it dark, which we couldn't do because we just didn't have a dark place that we could both sit comfortably um, in our apartment during the middle of the afternoon when we played. So there's that, but um, yeah, I think that's everything. We had fun. Um, it's fun. There's, like I said, a lot of puzzles. It's a little bit longer. I think it's 75 minutes now, but double check with the website when you book, they will have that information there. We were doing one of the last beta tests, so things might've changed just slightly since we played. And um, thanks for inviting me out to play. And thanks again to Escape the Rumors for inviting me to play. Uh, you can find links to the room and the folks that played with us in the description below. Also a link to my blog, thehauntgirl.com and my Instagram, The Haunt Girl. So you can hit me up on Instagram if you have some questions or suggestions, things you want to like chat with me. Um, and also check out the other things going on that I've been doing like ARGs and Mercy Theater and all sorts of stuff that I've been listing on the blog. And again, thehauntgirl.com. All right. Thanks so much for watching.